And this is, the, I think, the easiest method to learn the grip. I made this video especially for players that play on the right or that want to know more about the kick smash. Hello, welcome everybody. Today we are in Amsterdam in the Kauwgommelle quartier with Matthijs Adema. And we're going to work on his kick smash from the right today. Good luck. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to start right now. Vamos. Vamos. So today we have Matthijs, he's going to play his kick smash from the right as a right-handed player. Uh, he's playing for around six years. Matthijs is a very solid player, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He is like a, a perfect player on the right. He misses kind of the extra power. So I think paddle's changing and you need to have a good player on the left that can smash, but also play on the right that can smash. And I'm going to tell you some things that you can use to get more kick in your smash. Uh, and I'm gonna give you some exercises today uh, that you can do at home or at the court by yourself to improve the kick smash. Phase one is feel the ball. So that you brush the ball a lot and that you're not hitting the ball. You try to get it out of the court from here. So try to kick it out. So now my ball needs a little bit more rotation Ugh, to get it out. Goal of this exercise is to get the ball out of the court from close and then we're going to increase the distance. And for technical tips, we're going to play with the backhand grip. So we're gonna move the, the, from continental a little bit to the backhand grip and we're gonna hold the racket lower so we can use the wrist a little bit more. So maybe with these tips, I can get it out. Oh, magic! Smooth. Now it's your turn. This is perfect for my knees, this exercise. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Nice. Let's go. Reason that we are sitting on the bench is because you f force all the other muscles, they cannot move. So we're gonna focus a lot on, on the, the arm to get the kick. And I'm rotating the bench a lot because this is the footwork and the side rotation that you want to have when you're going for the kick smash. Like this should be the, the, the angle of the bench. Yes, so uh, now Matthijs, your contact point is all the way there and it's gonna be more like a flat shot. So normally on the right, we need more kick. So now try to hit it like behind you here and try to kick to get it all the way up. Maybe you can hold your racket a little bit lower as well, lower on the grip. Yeah, a little bit. So you can use the wrist more with the kick smash. Yes? Ah. Are you good with uh, to play with I yourself? <laughs> I'm better with this. But. Yeah. Yes. This one has a lot of kick. So this is a very important aspect of the kick smash. Nice. Okay, let's get the bench a little bit more back. Ah, nice, that's the one. And hold the racket a little bit more in the back end grip. What's the difficult part of the practice? Yeah. This one. Ah, nice. Benga. 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 Well, uh, Matthijs, uh, this went pretty well. You can see the difference. And uh, when Matthijs is smashing the ball, his shot is going forwards. So he's hitting the ball from six to 12 o'clock with the ball. So the ball is, it has top spin, but it's not going there. And if you want to have a good smash from the right, you need to be able to kick it out. So what you want to do, Matthijs, is that if the ball is a clock, you hit the ball from seven to two. And when you are hitting the kick smash, most of the time you had the contact point here. It is very difficult to get on this part of the ball if you hit the ball there. So now we focus on to throw the ball in our backpack and from there to kick. We don't have to accelerate a lot. We want to make sure that this is a slower smash with a lot of rotation. The balls are not super new anymore, so if the ball doesn't go out, it's not a big deal, but uh, try to get the rotation, Matthijs, from seven to two o'clock. But is it still this? Yeah, so, so we have a lot of sand on the court, that's good. <laughs> so um, we want to, if you are here with your foot, you want to hit the ball a little bit more there. Yes. It's so easy now. Nice. It's so easy now. With just two tips of the great Sven Buda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this was going to happen, yes. Yeah, a little bit softer, Thijs. Yeah, hold the racket a little bit lower. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So now you're going a little bit to the forehand grip. 
So this is the forehand side. Yeah. And you want to be more there. Because if you are there with the backhand grip, you have this more. So you have a tendency of changing a little bit to the forehand side and then it's hard to kick. Yes. This is how I learned the grips uh, as a kid. So what you do, you need a pen and you're going to do this. And from here, I'm going to put it there. So when I'm holding the grip, I know that I have the correct grip. So this would be the continental grip. And for the kick smash, the grip stripe would be all the way there. So I am going to turn my grip all the way like this. And then this matches. Wow. But we uh, switch sides because the, the people next to us. And Matthijs was swishing so many balls out of the court, it's not uh, funny anymore. Too difficult. For yeah, too difficult. For them, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Nice, yes, I like it. Backhand grip, more to the backhand grip. Yeah, now it's kicking a lot to the side. Yeah, but a little, you're going a little bit to the forehand grip still. It's a little bit there, yeah. Even more? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, the back end, east and backhand grip, you need it for this, uh, for this smash, the backhand grip. Yeah, okay, but this is really yeah. good, eh? Yeah. I play, if I play my backhand, maybe... Uh, yeah, this is okay, yeah. Maybe if you yeah. improve my backhand too. Yeah, uh, we never know. Today, eh? yeah. Tonight, no. <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah, it's good. But it's good that you recognize now what kind of shot or what contact point you need. Yeah. Because now we're gonna do an exercise that you can search for the ball. So I throw the ball and you try to get that correct contact point. Yeah. So it's important to recognize on what kind of shot you can play the kick smash uh, and what contact point you need. And, and first, it's good to have uh, to throw the ball up yourself, even though it might be difficult, uh, especially if you didn't play tennis before. But you need to have uh, a, a, a knowledge of where to hit the ball. And, and now was extremely good. And also the change to the backhand grip was uh, more rotation. Uh, this is a good exercise that you can do to improve your kick. So Matthijs, if you can turn and rotate your body to me, like you're going to kick smash the ball there. Yeah. So I have the racket here. C can you put your racket against mine? In, in between the ball, yeah? So the goal is that Matthijs brushes the ball with a kick over, uh, over my racket. Exactly, again. Yes, okay, again, and try to get a higher f follow through. Okay, good. Okay, now a little bit more with your body rotation. Yes, now I throw the ball here, Matthijs. I walk with you, so I, I, stay, I keep alive, I stay alive. Um, but it's important that you get underneath the ball. So now, now it's a changing ball. It's a little bit easier than if I play it from there. So I throw up and you try to get it out. What the heck? What the heck, Thomas? Oh! Try that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and now th this is like Matthijs is here. The ball is going to be there. And what is important in the kick smash with your footwork is that you get past the ball so that you get here so you can kick. And, and what we have a tendency to do is that. We go here, so it's there. So the ball is coming, the ball is coming, I go here, and then I go for the kick. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> nice. Oh. Last one. Desolation. Uh, Matthijs, try to run further. So I want you to be a little bit closer to the fence. Yes, exactly. It's very important with your grip that you change. Yeah. I think the most important for you. So when I see the lob coming, yeah. I have to turn it more into the back end. Yeah. 
and then play it. Yeah, because the normal folly movement is that you're here in the continental grip. Yes. And then when it's a smash, it's like this. You can see with Paquito uh, very well, yeah, yeah, with yeah. Fiboras and, and, and kick smashes, yeah. is that the racket is so closed, uh, he can rotate the ball a lot. But now if you are playing on the right, you need to have like a lot of rotation to get it out of the court. And the moment you tensen up the muscles, uh, it's going to be a flat shot. Yeah. From the left, it's still possible to kick the ball out because if, if you play flat there, it goes out yeah. of the court. You have a better angle. You have a better angle. But now you have to get everything from the kick. Phase two is learn from something that is different. Uh, Matthijs, I play the ball, you play a flat smash. Then the second ball, you're going to play a lot of kick. Then the third is very flat, then the fourth is a lot of kick. So you feel the difference between the contact point with the flat smash and the contact point with the kick smash and maybe the footwork. Nice. When I do exercises, it's always something different. So it's never the same thing. So it's never like, okay, do 20 flat smashes or 20 kick smashes because you don't learn so much. You learn more if you switch it up. Kick, uh, flat. In front of you, behind you. Footwork like this, footwork like that. And then you can understand the difference and learn faster. Flat. Yes. And kick. Yes, nice. This is the interesting part about this exercise, is the change in footwork. So with the flat smash, it's there. And then with the kick smash, it's there. And if you can feel the difference, that's why it's good to do an exercise that you have a difference. So you can learn from the difference, not from the same repetition. You hit it at seven o'clock now, so you have more time. More time, yes, yes, yes. I'm not a early, Sorry. early birdie. <laughs> Uh, the second thing that we do is the change in contact point. So now the first smash, hit it very far in front of you. The second time you hit the smash, hit it like behind you. So you can feel the difference. This is a very good exercise to improve the smash, but also the footwork of the smash. Okay, so uh, one more exercise, Matthijs, is the first smash. You're going to focus on this. So when you smash, one foot is in front, the right foot is back, and you play it like this. Then the second smash, your left foot is here and your right foot is here. So this is the difference. Flat, kick. And then try to kick somebody that is there. And this is the difference between the flat and the kick smash footwork. Yes. Better, nice. Wow. Whoa. Good height. Yeah. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. It has to be high on the glass and on the third on the on the third wall, the last one on the on the back. So the, the biggest difference was mostly the footwork because you can see that Matthijs had one foot in front. Then the ball is not, has not so much kick and the ball was not bouncing so high of the, the glass. And then the contact point is here. And the moment you went there, you had so much more rotation and the ball like was bouncing in the air. And then it goes out. Jumping out of the glass. Yeah. Yes, and, and you don't need to kick the ball out of the court uh, by using power, but more of like relaxed motion. And the, the correct footwork to move more to get there was letting the ball bounce up so high. Phase three is the footwork. This is very important, but we put it on the end because you first want you to understand that you how to play the, the kick thing, because maybe your footwork is amazing, but you cannot feel the kick. So for me, phase one 
feeling the kick is more important. The footwork makes everything happen. If the footwork is not correct, it's going to be very difficult to play the kick smash. So we're going to get deep into the footwork. Okay, so now, uh, Matthijs, I play uh, a low ball, you play a backhand volley, then I play the lob and you kick it out. And it's important that you play the ball to this player, so because then the player there will more likely to lob you. So if you play to the player on the right, the player on the right would more likely to lop over there. So in order to get you more into play, you want to play there in the corner to get a kick smash. So it's one volley, one kick smash. So now the footwork is very important. Out of the court, out of the court. Nice. What I want to check now, Matthijs, if I play a little bit to the fence, that you still try to get underneath the ball to get it out of the court. To take it on the next level, because uh, they would not expect that. Yeah, you have to get close to the fence and try to get underneath the ball. Yes. Yeah. And uh, try, Matthijs, is that your left foot is closer to the fence. So now you're going there, and it's a little bit in this line. Okay. It should be more, more there. Yeah, even more nice. Yes. Nice. Yeah, good footwork. Back end. Nice. Again, back end. Back end. Yes, get underneath the ball. Bien. Touch. Touch. I heard that your opponents of next week have a very difficult uh, opponent. They will be very disappointed. Sorry. Fantastic, good uh, jokes today. This is all for this video. I think it's very important to, to think one thing. Matthijs found it is very easy to just think about the, the, the left foot there and then the rest will happen. So I think you need to pick one thing of this video and focus specifically on, on that part and then the rest will happen. And if for you it can be the 7 to 2, can be the foot, can be something else. Nice. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Adios. Ciao. Ciao. Hoppa!